Hello, welcome back. Today we're gonna demo a Ken Fisher modded Comet K60. I bought this amp from the keyboard player in the Marcus King band. I met him in Philadelphia. Uh, they were great, uh, put on a great show. <clears throat> I brought this amp home and pretty amazed by it. He told me at the time that this amp wasn't just a modded Comet. He said that the entire circuit was basically done by Ken Fisher. It's a recreation of what Ken, the circuit that Ken created for Mark Knopfler. Inside the cabinet and on the chassis frame, Ken signed it, dated it, and gave the amp a name. It says Le Bouy or Le Bousse. I'm not sure how to say it. Le Bus. Le Bus. Anyway, this is running right now with two EL34s. Um, it could run with KT66s or 6L6s, as long as you uh, put that in and bias it properly, you get different sounds out of the amp that way. Today I have it plugged into a Highlight 412 cab, which is a high watt, made for high watt 1972, has four purple Fane speakers in it for all you gear geeks out there. That's the breakdown. I'm going to use a Novo S-type guitar, plug straight into the amp, try and use my volume control to show you the dynamic changes you get with this amp. In the back of the amp, there is a switch, uh, which is a, a proprietary switch to train wreck designs. It is a response switch. There is a fast setting and a gradual. I have it in the gradual setting, which gives you a cleaner, more headroom effect through the amp and the fast setting again drives the amp a little harder i will at the end of the demo engage the fast switch and show you what that sounds like the control knobs on this there's a high cut and that's an interesting control different than a lot of amps what that allows you to do is well, if you want a darker sound and you back off your treble on a lot of amps you lose some gain you lose some uh sparkle to the amp uh, with this, you could EQ it how you like it, and then take the high cut and back it off and darken it up without losing the EQ that you've uh, started out with. It's, it's pretty cool. Then there's a presence knob, which again takes off the very high ends of your uh, EQ, and then the rest are self-explanatory, bass, mid-range, treble, and volume. With that, let's get started and see what we think. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Novo Cirrus, straight into a Comet. Volume's around seven and a half.
Okay, now I'm going to um, flip the switch in the back to the fast response. I got to put it on standby, otherwise it'll pop. Okay, I might have to turn the volume down on the Comet doing this because it does increase it. And it's not a boost. It, it's not a gain stage boost. Um, it's just a, a circuit change that uh, reacts to the pick attack. We're new at this. I do this with my son, who's over here. And uh, we got to do a little research. I want to try and be able to uh, present to you guys the sound that we're hearing here. And I don't know if we're conveying that. But we'll get back to you on that. We'll do a little studying. Some other things about this amp that I wanted to say besides that it just sounds fantastic. I forgot that when I got the amp from... Uh, I gotta get his name. We'll put it under here. Uh, the keyboard player. He's no longer with Marcus King. He was the original keyboard player. He gave me an envelope that's also signed by Ken Fisher and states that uh, this was worked on in his basement in Colonia and also it's a signed uh, Comet manual for this amp uh, by Ken Fisher. Both of them have his stamp pad stamp for uh, Colonia, New Jersey address, which again is where he worked out of and where he created Trainwreck. I actually have one more Trainwreck. Our previous demo was of a JM tr uh, Trainwreck which is being produced in Ken's basement in Colonia. And we, I have a twin reverb that was gutted and uh, redone by Ken Fisher uh, to the point where actually he put a train wreck logo on that. It's actually at a local tech. When I get it back, I'll demo that. All right, that's it. I hope you liked it. Again, if you want to check out the history of train wreck amps, it's pretty neat. And uh, Ken Fisher. And that's all, folks. See you next time. Bye.